yes, yeah, so today we're going to be doing this 15 minute flow. It's going to be fun. It's going to build a little bit of flexibility. We're going to do some stretching and it's also going to be super playful. So we're going to do some balancing and just energize our bodies and bring a smile to our face before we start our days. So let's start cross-legged and then make sure your seat bones, so your butt is rooted deeply in the mat. Roll your shoulders back one time just to be able to open up your chest and then drop your hands at either side of your body and just close your eyes. Take a second while you connect with your breath, feeling the inhale come through your nose and out through your mouth. And as you sit here breathing with your eyes closed, just take a second to really notice your body. Feel your seat bones, your butt rooted deeply in the mat. Feel your tailbone tucked in and your spine long. Feel it reach all the way to the crown of your head. Breathe deeply here, feeling strong and powerful and the ground is supporting you. And when you take the next inhale, breathe in good energy, good vibes for this practice. Feel as if you're breathing in yellow, yellow or golden light. And then exhale through your mouth any negative energy or stress or tension you've had before coming to the mat. And deep inhale. And exhale. Now open your eyes. Inhale your arms up above your head. Just take a second here to lengthen one side of the body out and then the other. Just feel like you're grabbing something. You're trying to get something that's above you. You feel like a cat. Really feel your side body stretch out all the way from your hip bones to the top of your fingertips. Remember to keep breathing, stay connected to your breath at all times. And maybe see if one side of your body feels different today. And then slowly come back to center, keep your arms up above your head, look up, smile, and then exhale, twist slowly. So we're gonna bring our left hand to our right knee and just slowly look over your right shoulder. Your right hand comes behind you. And then as you inhale, lengthen your spine, grow tall. And as you exhale, maybe twist a little bit deeper. Inhale, grow tall. And exhale, twist. Now come back to center, bring your arms back up above your head, look up, smile. And then exhale, come over to the left side. So the right hand is on the left leg now. And then just push a little bit. Your left hand's behind you. Your right hand is used to just leave yourself round. This is bringing mobility in your spine. So you're able to move a little bit easier. Um, and it's also really good to detox. So since right now it is spring, let's detox, have a little spring clean of our bodies. Inhale the good new energy. And exhale, twist. And now come back to center, arms up above your head, and then just slowly bring your hands down in front of you and just slowly walk like a little cat forward. Wherever feels good for you, make sure you push your hips back so your hips are coming back into the mat. And wherever feels good, you can bring your forearms down, you can keep your fingers tended like a spider on the mat or whatever is in front of you. You can even rest your hands down and just take a little nap here for a second. And this will feel the hips and the glutes stretching out for the first time maybe today. So you can wiggle around and maybe see if that makes it a little bit easier to release some tension here. And take one more deep inhale. And exhale. Wherever you are, tent your fingers back up like the spiders and walk yourself back to seated. Okay, so now we're going to come into a tabletop position. So you're going to bring your shoulders over your wrists planted here and then your hips are directly over your knee. First of all just find this position, tuck your tailbone in, feel again just as we did when we were seating, your spine is long all the way from your tailbone to the top of your head so maybe you want to readjust, your shoulder blades are pushed back, your tailbone is tucked under, gaze down and then just let's do some cat cows here so we can make these as playful or as simple as you like. So you can drop your belly, arch your chest, look up for cow. And 
exhale, come into cat. So it's like a Halloween cat. You push the mat away, tuck your tailbone in, and two more like this. And exhale, really feel your spine moving, just as you've done in the twist, opening it up for the first time. And then inhale up, and exhale. And we're gonna do two more, but you can do it as you wish. So maybe you wanna just take some movements here, so you're still doing the same movement as we did before, but maybe you wanna push one hip to the side, push the other hip, you can move your head as well, remembering that your head is an extension of your spine. You can come forward like a wave and push back into child's pose. Or you can just bend your elbows as well, warming up the joints here. You can push your hips down. Feel a little stretch already here. And then slowly push your hips back to child's pose. So you're going to push your hips back to your heels. You can have your knees as wide as the mat or you can have them together, whatever feels comfortable for you today. If you bring them wide, and that also gives a stretch in the inside hips. Walk your hands out again like the spider. Bring your forehead to the mat. And as you inhale, look up. And exhale, push your hips back down. Inhale, look up. Feel the stretch along your shoulders and exhale, push down. Keeping your forehead on the mat, we're going to walk our hands over to one side. Maybe your head moves with you. And then feel the stretch all along the left side of the body. That should feel really good, especially if it's in the morning. During sleep, our side bodies can get a little bit tight here. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. And then slowly walk back to center. Look up again. And exhale back down. And then slowly walk over to the left side, stretching out the right side of the body this time. Push your hip to the left, the right, sorry. And then just breathe into this right side of the body. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Slowly come back to center. And this time come back into a tabletop and let's just warm up our bodies at the moment. So we're back in the same position, our hands are rooted in the mat, tailbone tucked under spine is long. I'm going to just kick our left leg back and our right arm forward. So all of a sudden you can feel the heat burning in your core. You're getting a little bit warmer now hopefully. So your head is still looking down so your spine is long. You can keep your back foot flexed or pointed. Just make sure you feel strong and supported. And then exhale, bring your knee to your elbow. And up. Knee to elbow. And up. One more time, knee to elbow. And up. And then just try and move your arm and your leg. Oh, hit, you can kick a table if you're like me, you're close to everything in your house. To the sides, hold here. And back forward and down. You can take a couple shakes here, maybe move your spine a little bit, loosen it out, maybe see how that leg and that arm feel now. Maybe you're getting a little bit warmer, that's good. So now take the right foot back, pointed or flexed foot, and the arm out. Again, just take a second here, find your place, gaze down to keep your spine long, all the way from your tailbone to your head. And as you exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale long, exhale bend. Inhale long, and exhale bend. Inhale long, and then just scoot it over to the other side so the left arm goes out, right arm out, right leg out. And then come back to center, bring it down, and let's just loosen it out here before we tuck our toes under. So with your shoulders still directly over your wrists, you're going to just lift your knees off the mat and come into downward facing dog. So to warm up here, you can bend one leg at a time. You can also bend both knees at the same time and then straighten. And feel free to keep a generous bend in your legs. The main aim is to have your spine as long as possible. Stretching out the spine here. Take a few deep breaths wherever you are. Root all ten fingertips in the mat. Take some pressure off your wrist by focusing on the fingertips. 
And then slowly walk your feet towards your hands. We're going to come into a forward fold here. So bend your knees generously. Keep your hands rooted on the mat. Or to make it a little bit more fun, like a rag doll, grab either elbow and just swing from side to side. You can bend one knee at a time as well, feeling the stretch up along the back of your legs. And then come back down. Slowly tuck your chin into your chest and roll all the way up to standing. Good job. So now we're going to come in some balancing positions. So first stand with your hips, um, feet hip width distance apart, so just down here. And bring your hands towards your chest. And then just grab your right knee and pull it into your chest. First of all, this is good because it's stretching out the inner hip. You're keeping your balance. Already feel your left foot deeply rooted in the mat. And then just slowly come into tree pose. So we're going to bring the right foot in the inside of the left leg. And now how to keep your balance. First of all, you can find a spot in front of you and focus on that spot. Make sure it's not moving. Also, use the pressure between your foot and your left thigh. Push it in together and that will keep you stable. Once you're there, just bring your hands towards your chest in prayer. Or you can bring them up so you feel like a tree. That's a little bit more difficult. And you can put your hands facing out. And you can also even try and sway like a tree. Whatever feels good for you today. Remember to breathe. And exhale. One more inhale. And exhale. Now bring your hands back through prayer in front of your chest. Bring your foot down and just shake it out. Good job. So are we ready to go on the other side? So feet rooted in the mat. So feet flat. Bring your hands towards prayer in front of your chest. And then now it's the left leg's time. So left leg into your chest. Maybe one side is completely different to the other. I find this side is so difficult in comparison um, to when I'm rooted on the left. So don't worry about that. You can fall out at any time. And then just bring the left inner sole of your foot to the right thigh. So you can see I'm wobbling a little bit more on this side. And then bring your hands towards your chest in prayer. It's nice to keep you centered. Remember to focus on the right foot and also maybe find your focal point in front of you. Inhale and maybe bring your arms up above your head. Maybe to the side and maybe you sway. You can see I'm not so confident on this side, it's moving a little bit. Either way, it's good because you're growing as you keep trying things that are difficult. And now back to center, palms face each other, and then bring your hands back down in front of your heart. Inhale. And exhale, release. Shake it out. And then we're going to come back to the front of the mat. And we're going to do something called sun salutations. If you don't know them before, it's something that they have used in yoga from the beginning of time to be able to warm up each and every part of the body. It's super fun. You can do it as fast or as slow as you want. But let's take the first one fast. Um, sorry, slow together. <laughs> so your feet are rooted in the mat, hip width apart, just like we did in tree pose. Your chest is open, your palms are facing forward. Smile. And then we're going to inhale your arm up above your head, just like we did at the beginning of the class. And exhale, fold, so you hinge all the way at the hips and come down. Remember, you can bend your knees as generously as you need to. And then inhale, you can bring your hands up towards your shins and make a flat back position so your spine is long in this position. Your shoulder blades are pressed together. Exhale, fold. And then you can step back to a plank position. I think we all know this, you probably know this from school or fitness. And then exhale, bring your knees down and you're gonna bring your chest and chin to the mat like a cobra. And then exhale, come up and down. Tuck your toes under and we're gonna push back into that downward facing dog. Good job, that was your first sun salutation. So bend one leg at a time, thank your body. And back to stillness. Now walk your feet as slowly as possible to the top of the mat again. Inhale up to a flat back, straighten your spine. 
Exhale, fold. Inhale your arms up above your head. And back to either side of you. Let's do this one more time together. Inhale your arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, come into that flat back position. And exhale, fold forward again. Plant your hands in the mat. Step one foot back, step the other foot back, and then drop your knees onto the mat. Drop your chest down and drop your chin down. It feels weird at the beginning, but you'll get used to it. Don't worry. Push forward into a low cobra, we call this position. It's also just opening up the chest, giving a little back bend. And exhale, fold, tuck your toes under, and come back into downward facing dog. Great job. You can bend one leg at a time. Stretch out the back of the legs. Let's finish off with some powerful standing postures. So bring your right foot in between your hands at the top of the mat and come up into a high lunge. So let's have some fun with the high lunges here. So let's open into a twist because we've already warmed up our spine just at the beginning of the class. So your high lunge here, your back heel is kicking to the back of the mat. Your leg is at 90 degree angle or anywhere near this. Just don't have your kneecap going over. That's too much pressure on your knee. Arms up and then exhale, twist. So you bring your right arm back, left arm forward and up. And let's do it again. Twist and up. One last time, twist and up. And something I like to try as well, which keeps... Um, working on your balance so your arms are up and then maybe try and lift the front heel off the mat so up and down it can get a little challenging up and down up and down and then bring your hands to the mat come back to downward facing dog great job head like the feet you can bend both knees and straighten whatever feels good you can shake your head yes and no and let's take it on the other side. So left foot in between your two hands at the front of the mat and come up into a high lunge position. Again, 90 degree angle with the legs. Heel back, heel kicking towards the back of the mat. Strong, powerful, you can do this. And then we're gonna do, go into our twists. So left arm back this time, right arm forward. Inhale up. And exhale open. Inhale up. Exhale, open, inhale up, and let's work on that heel now. So front heel off the mat, and down, inhale up, and down. One last time, you can do it, and down, and then bring your hands to either side of the foot, kick back into downward facing dog, and then just bring your knees down to the mat, push your hips back, and we'll come back into that child's pose. Bring your forehead to the mat, completely relax. You can actually rub your head on the mat, massaging your forehead. You've done an amazing job here. And exhale. And when you're ready, slowly walk your hands back to your torso. And let's start back, or sorry, finish where we started in a seated position. You can cross your legs or whatever feels comfortable for you. And let's just take one last deep breath to finish our practice and move on to the day and enjoy everything that you have achieved today. Um, so inhale. And exhale. Thank you for joining me on the mat. I'm so excited to be able to have shared this practice with you and I will be bringing more videos soon. Um, so stay tuned and thanks, bye.